Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another quant price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the quant chart which at the time of this recording has continued to hold below a key area of support at around the 124.9 dollar mark we have also continued to hold above a key area of support at around the 110.9 dollar mark we have also seen a breakout out of a chart pattern that we had in formation right here which is a head and shoulders pattern whose minimum target areas at around the 114 dollar mark we have almost fully maximized we have also continued to obey the idea of structures where i still believe that whatever we are seeing is a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of these higher idea to count two and that is after seeing this one two setup and after seeing the one two setup we started this idea of structure having that as the first wave giving us a peak at around the 165.5 dollar mark and after seeing the high for that wave one we started a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of these wave two and before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my next price targets here on the quant chart, first give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first give you the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out over here where I'm still expecting that whatever we are seeing is a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 and using the Fibonacci connecting them from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave 1. I was able to come up with a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of that wave 2 be between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.78 which is a target area that lies between the 133.6 dollar mark and the 115.2 dollar mark and it is within this red target area down here that I'm expecting to see the low for this second wave to the lower side and at the time of this recording you can see that we have fully maximized our target area to the lower side in the formation of that wave 2 and we have touched the FIB level 0 0.7 8 meaning there are chances that we might have now seen the low for this second wave and there are chances that soon we are going to start gearing up see a break above the 20 day ma here on the four hour chart also see a key area of resistance at around the 124.9 dollar mark and the moment that happens then i'll be expecting to see a retest and once the retest is in and a success then we can continue watching our next key area of resistance at around the 133.2 dollar mark and in case such a move plays out here on the quant chart then there are chances that we might start gearing up in the formation of a larger edu wave count 3 which we expect after seeing the formation of a larger edu wave count 2 and assuming that we are not going to see one more leg down in the formation of these higher edu to have count 2 we can sketch a target area to the upper side in the formation of these wave 3 by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that gives me a minimum target area in the formation of that wave 3 at the fib of 1.618 and that is at around the 217.9 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect that higher edu to have count 3 to the upper side to do so that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios basing it on the edu to structures and we need to be very cautious and also very keen with the fib level 0 0.78 because the moment we lose that key area on the fibonacci then that will be putting a major challenge on the formation of these higher edu to have count two. Second, in case we lose the FIB level 0 0.78, there are chances of getting to our next key area of support at around the 110.9 dollar mark. And in case we lose that key area on the uh, that is that key area of support also, then there are chances of continuing to see a massive breakdown to the lower side, maybe to the next key area of support at around the 100.3 dollar mark. And that is what we can expect here on the worst case scenarios and in case such a move plays out then that would be suggesting that we might still be in the formation of these larger additive count two that i have here on the long-term scenarios and giving you the long-term scenarios that i'm expecting to play out here on the quant chart you can see that after making our bear market low we started these massive bounce to the upper side obeying the additive structures where we had been obeying the additive structures having these additive structure in blue giving us a peak at around the 229 dollar mark and also completing the formation of that larger edu to count one to the upper side and after seeing the high for that with one we started a corrective structure in the formation of this larger edu to count two in a move that has now given us a low at around the 94.4 dollar mark and there are chances that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an impulsive wave to the upper side in the formation of these higher edu to count three and that's the reason as to why we are seeing this one to set up and also another five wave structure that i'm expecting having the wave five fully maximizing our target areas to the upper 
side in the formation of these higher ADO to F count 3 and sketching out a target area to the upper side in the formation of these wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that higher ADO to F count 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the $398.5 mark and that is the minimum that we can expect Quant to do on the long term scenarios and that is provided we continue holding above the FIB level 0.78 over here and in case that and in case we lose the FIB level 0.78 and also lose other key areas of supports in between here there are chances that Quant might give us one more leg down over here in what we could term as the law for these higher ADO to count two that I'm expecting on the long term scenarios and in case such a move plays out then I'll be terming this whole structure that we have right here as a massive ABC corrective structure having that as the wave A then a wave B giving us a picket around the $165.5 mark then I'll be expecting one more leg down in the formation of that wave C to fully maximize our target areas or maybe give us the low for that second wave before we can start the formation of these larger ADO to wave count 3 so that is what we can expect also on the worst case scenarios and we need to continue watching the FIB level 0.78 and in case we are able to continue holding above it then there are chances that we might start gearing up in the formation of these larger ADO to wave count 3 and also taking a look at the indicators here on the RSI we are trading at around the 34 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in the formation of these wave 3 but in case the breakdown also continues that movement on the RSI will still be supported also taking a look at the MACD we have been able to print a bearish cross fully supporting further breakdown so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.